Hey everybody, Monty here, and I am bringing you the very first of a Monty Rico Gaming community video. That's right, we are bringing in new creators to the channel, and please welcome this episode playing Monolith. Is Durin D going to be giving us a first look and kind of coverage into the game? I'm excited to bring this kind of content to the channel. Going to be fun, going to free up my time to work more on some of the main series I'm working on and it's going to bring more videos to you guys on the channel. So stay tuned. There's going to be more creators joining us as well in the next few months. So I'm excited to see all the changes coming to Monte Rico Gaming Community Channel. And make sure to check us out on Facebook. All right, here we go. Take it away, Durin D. Yeah, you're doing Durin D here, and we are giving a look at a game by Team D13. It is a monolith. It's a great little title that I've been playing around with the past uh, couple of days. Adds a couple of elements that I really, really love. Uh, a, it's a top-down arcade shooter, kind of in the uh, vein of Smash TV. It reminds me a lot of Smash TV, in fact. And secondly, it has roguelike elements. Of course, roguelikes, they've been making a bit of a comeback in the uh, past few years. Corresponding with Isaac was a uh, very, very big roguelike uh, so it's kind of in that vein of game. Um, there is a story that's scrolling through right now, so I'm just going to talk over that, and you can read this uh, lovely text and animation. So yeah, uh, I saw the description for this, and uh, we got ourselves a press key. So this is me playing this. This game comes out on June the 7th. It's on Steam. I'm not quite sure what the price point is at uh, this point, so be sure you check it out if you like what you see here today. Also, I should mention this is my first video for the uh, Ma uh, the uh, Gaming Elite uh, headed up by uh, Monte Rico. Uh, if you want some more details on that, should be uh, links in the description of the video. And we have a very, very great uh, Facebook group on the go with Gaming Elite. Uh, all sorts of news, articles and stuff, everybody posts all sorts of different things people do in different video series. Great friendly environment, definitely be sure you uh, check that out, uh, just search for the uh, Monte Rico Gaming Elite on uh, Facebook. I am Dern D, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about myself later on in this video. But first, uh, before we get started, I have to reset my progress here because I have played this game a little bit before and I want to make sure that you get kind of the introductory experience that uh, we get with this game. So, alright, we'll just skip the uh, cutscene now, beautifully animated again, and we'll start uh, things off. So, you know, kind of the idea is you're this ship and you're uh, descending through this uh, monolithic thing picking up all sorts of roguelike goodies such as weapons and cash and doing ship upgrades and fighting bosses and proceeding through the map. Of course uh, there is a, a dash element here so you, like normally I can't get past this fan but by using the dash I can so it's a great way to avoid enemies and bullets. Of course we're stuck here can't proceed so we'll head over here and we'll blow up this thing. This game has a great in-game map. Uh, it says right down here about the teleportation feature. Of course, one of the big kind of complaints you sometimes hear about roguelikes is having to backtrack. In this game, well, if you've visited the room already, well, you're allowed to go back no trouble at all. So I'm going to hit left ship now. And that's going to get my bombs on the go. It's a great way to uh, clear out... Uh, rooms or if you're kind of backed into a corner. It is a bullet held type game so keep that in mind. You're going to need some good reflexes to get this on the go. So we're going to face our tutorial boss. Now I've, I've fought this guy a few times uh, getting ready to do this recording so hopefully I won't embarrass myself too much. He's a pretty basic boss in terms of uh, style of fighting. I'm doing okay so far but I have lost health to him before so hopefully we'll go through without any real trouble. So uh, yeah, it's a, it's a roguelike, so that means you hit a floor, you pick up some items on the floor, you clear out the floor, and then you hit the boss. It's it's like that. You usually have to fight a mini boss or two before you head on to uh, face the boss. You see this little multiplier here? What this means is the more shots I get in, that goes up. And the more that goes up, the more uh, kind of gold and, and cash I pick up. 
So uh, you're going to see that go up until I get hit, and once you get hit, well, you lose your multiplier. So it's in your best interest not to get hit, A, to survive, and B, so you can get that multiplier up. You get as much cash as you can, because uh, cash will uh, kind of fund you trips to the shops, and you can do all sorts of great upgrades and everything once you visit those. We'll see those a little bit later in the game, I'm sure. As Well, there, there's our first shop right here. I only have 160 gold. So I uh, won't be doing anything with this, so we can just hover our mouse over all the items to uh, check out what they do reveal. So that's like a map item. Uh, this recovers health, this increases our max ammo. Right now, I'm using the basic weapon that you start off with. It has unlimited ammo, but you do pick up uh, special weapons as you progress through the game, and they do have limited ammo, so... Uh, an ammo increase is definitely interesting me right now, especially since we haven't lost any health. And this is going to be our first weapon pickup right here. So, uh, again, you just hover over the items. It gives you a description. Now, there's a couple different weapon types, and each type has a couple traits. So you notice this fireball splits and does chain lightning. And this revolver does homing shots and freezes uh, enemies. Uh... The next revolver or fireball I pick up might have a couple of entirely different traits, so that's something to keep in mind. I do enjoy the fireball weapon, so I'm going to go with that right now. You can see we now have an ammunition counter, um, so we only have 88 shots. So we, we got to be careful. We want to pick our shots, not to waste ammunition, because we're going to want it, want it for the boss. Uh, here is actually another shop. Again, we don't have any cash, so... Just gonna leave that alone for now. Another thing about those item rooms, uh, you notice I broke open a container to actually get at the, the weapons before I can pick them up. Well, uh, if you break that open and leave the room without picking up anything, you're gonna lose your option to pick up stuff, so uh, be sure when you break open those item containers, uh, you are definitely planning to pick up a weapon because elsewise, you're going to leave and not get anything because your weapons will disappear. So this is the entrance to our boss room. You see this number one right here and this kind of swirly magical rune thing. That's the uh, that's the Nimbus. It's preventing us from proceeding any further. So this means we have to kill a, one mini boss to uh, make it to fight the actual boss. So we'll be keeping an eye out for that mini boss. Uh, doing pretty good actually in terms of not losing health this game. Just picked up some cash. We're up to 1,700 right now. We have a ghost and all sorts of flying skulls and everything. So, again, I'm, I'm going to do my best to stay alive. I think uh, floor number four is the furthest that I've gotten down so far. Uh, I'm just trying to concentrate now. I'm not dying. Uh, should be almost dead. Okay, so the Nimbus has been broken open. We got a uh, ammunition refill there, so that's uh, great for us. And we do have these portals. They're pretty cool. Uh, they act like the portals from the game portal. Man, I'm getting shot up here. Uh, you shoot through one, comes out the other. That's it. Bada bim, bada boom. So we're doing good. I might make my way back up to one of the shops. Let's check out the other rooms first. Maybe there's going to be some cool pickups that I'm missing out on if I try to rush the boss. Uh, of course, the bosses, since this is a roguelike, uh, they're going to be different every time you go through. And also, the game is procedurally generated. So that means that every time I come down to the dungeon, or the uh, monolith in this case. We're going to see a new layout of rooms. And this is a new thing. Uh, this is kind of an upgrade station. So this is going to let us pick uh, some stuff to upgrade. So we can teleport when we're dashing. Uh, this will reveal rooms on the floor. And this creates a selection of powerful weapons. We're doing okay with a fireball right now. Uh, I'm going to go with the scanner. I think having a map might be a good idea for us. Now, here's our shop. We have 3,600 gold. This recovers three health points. It recovers two. That increases our max ammunition. I do want that one. And, uh, yeah, let's get ourselves back up to full health before we hit the boss. And let's see who we face here. Alright, so we have to break this open. Alright, so, let's see who we got here. We have the Chamber Lord. I have fought him one time before, uh, so hopefully I don't do too badly here. It is a, a bullet hell. It is a roguelike. That means that 
you know, you do have to kind of memorize different patterns depending on the enemy that you're facing. Uh, so I'm going to use my bomb right here to clear that off because that was getting scary. Again, you want to save your bombs to uh, kill the screen like that. That's how, that's how it works in these types of games. Reminds me of the old... Um, arcade game too, was it 1942 or 44 or something like that where you fly the old planes in World War II and of course you, you drop your bomb clear out the screen. Alright, uh, so just trying to not get hit now. We're level 2 floor and what we have over here is this is shop as well. So he has a key for us. This will increase in our number of bombs. And that recovers some health. I might go for the key because there are locked rooms that you can cross or vaults. And they usually have a nice few awesome goodies for us. Right, so that's dead. So we got to kill this mother brain thing here now. There we go. That has cleared off. Of course, you do have to kill off all the enemies before you proceed to the next room. And you're, you're locked in or they're locked in with you one way or another. What is this? This adds a bomb. Okay. Excellent. So we're up to three bombs now. That will uh, hopefully get us through our next uh, boss fight. So we need 3,500G to actually buy that key. So we'll see what happens. Oh, this is, is kind of scary. Um, we have a nice health bar, too, ever since we picked up that scanner. So that was a nice little pickup for us. I think. Uh, ammo is starting to fall down now, so I would be looking to upgrade my weapon. So we do have a, a ship upgrade down here. So let's see what we have for options. We have the teleports. Uh, we have focus, prolonged invulnerable time between hits, and auto bomb when you take damage. Let's try for the focus. That will make us invincible a little bit longer if we do take a hit. That will allow us to maybe maneuver our way out of trouble if that happens for us. Uh, some faces and stuff like that. Reminds, reminds me of the old uh, thing that used to follow you around in, in Mario 2 in the desert whenever you picked up the key. Kind of uh, awesome, awesome designs and stuff. And I, I do love the art here. Like I said, it reminds me of, like uh, those old arcade cabinets. Uh, what is what kind of weapon is this? That's a charge. So this has three traits. Everything we picked up is two and also this is a uh, a health sacrifice room in order to pack up anything here i actually have to sacrifice my max health and i don't know if i want to do that so i'm just going to leave that room alone for now maybe if we pick up a, a max health increase we'll look at that right, so we killed the mother brain we don't have the key to open this uh still don't have enough cash for that so we'll see if we can maybe earn a little bit more cash. Of course, you yeah, earn cash by killing these enemies and you, you see like this kind of blue stuff that comes in towards me. That is scrap and we use scrap in exchange for goods and services. So we only have eight ammo left here, so I'm gonna see what types of options we have. This is a revolver and this is a charge. It bounces off walls, slows enemies on hits. This one arcs between enemies. I kind of like that one. So uh, this, uh, yeah, this thing has 300 ammo, so it's uh, probably less powerful per shot, but we can spam a little bit. So we'll do that. My gameplay is doing pretty good. I'm, I'm glad I had a few practice runs before playing this. Like I said, the, the best I did was uh, getting to level 4. Uh, we'll see if we can get there in time. I just totally let that projectile hit me. I'm not necessarily proud of that, but... Uh, we are going to be kings with the princess of the universe, and I just totally walked into that as well. After me saying I was doing so good, so uh, yeah, that's, that's how it goes. So this should be our mini boss to open up the Nimbus on this uh, particular floor. Um, down to two health though, so we may not even get a chance to fight the boss. So we're back up to three. So I could fight the boss now if I wanted to. Now we do have the gold. To uh, unlock that vault, so let's we'll see about doing that. See, our, our modifiers definitely drop back down after taking a few hits. Uh, so it's in here, right? All right, so we're gonna grab you. We don't have enough to recover three HP. I wish I did. I think the vault was over here. So I'm just gonna use the teleport option instead of backtracking. That's why it's there. This recovers two health. Not the best. Uh, type of those vaults I've ever been in. Usually there's a whole bunch of great stuff. 
I mean, I could sacrifice some health to get some more, but I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't seem like a good idea. The boss is over there. I mean, I could try to do a couple weaker rooms and maybe build up the gold I need to buy some health. We'll see. I do have to clear a couple of rooms anyway before getting to the boss, and again, I really, really should be using the teleport option here. Uh, take a lot of damage, though. Just concentrate and stay on the target. There we go. Oh, uh, whatever was dropped, I just uh, I just lost because I left the room without picking it up. Something to keep in mind when you're playing. If uh, there is a pickup and you leave, you're not going to get it. So be sure you plan wisely. It looks like this room is going to uh, force us to use this uh, portal thing, or not. Okay. Am I ready to take the boss? Uh, how much gold do I have? 226. That's not enough for one of those health pickups. So I guess we're going to face the boss as is, and uh, this is the behemoth. It's like a big tank thing. I've bought him before, too. So we'll do our best here. Not, uh, not promising anything. Should be dodging more and not dodging into fire. That's usually a bad thing. Probably not dodging into the massive tank. Probably a good idea as well. Yeah, so there, there's a level two run for you right there. So, uh, yeah, Monolith. It's a great game. It's done by uh, Team D13. We get this little nice little death thing after we die. It shows how many en enemies we killed and how many rooms we cleared. Um, so, if you're a fan of roguelikes and if you're a fan of the old school style shooters, this one definitely might be for you. Uh, be sure you check it out. It gets released on June the 7th. It's coming out on Steam, and with roguelikes, you tend to get your money's worth uh, in terms of replayability. So, I am looking forward to, forward to playing more of this. And in fact, I do hope to do more videos of uh, Monolith. Uh, so, check out the website. Uh, of the uh, guys who put this out, uh, Team D13, for more information. And also, check out the uh, Gaming Elite on uh, Facebook. Glad to have you along. I am Dern D, and if you liked what I did here uh, today in terms of providing commentary on this game, check out my personal channel, uh, Dern D Plains. I play a lot of uh, Paradox's uh, Stellaris. Play that with a Star Trek mod. So if you're a fan of Star Trek, if you're a fan of the grand strategy games, my channel may be the uh, channel for you. Anyway, uh, check out this game. It's a great one. And have yourself a terrific day.